Good morning, everybody. Meteorologist Blake Matthews here. We continue to track potential tropical cyclone number three. We call it potential because it's not quite to a tropical storm as of yet, but the National Hurricane Center certainly thinks it will become one as we head into the afternoon hours today. There is a look at the tropical satellite as we speak. A lot of thunderstorm activity here in the central Gulf of Mexico, but the center of circulation is actually displaced from those thunderstorms out here by itself. And until we get those thunderstorms to wrap all the way around that center, we're not going to really see much of anything develop here. So uh, the Hurricane Center is going to send a plane out later on today to see if indeed it has organized enough to become a tropical storm, but this time it is not currently one. The reason why it is struggling is due to dry air that is being entrained into the system. That's one of the things that's really inhibiting the amount of development that we are seeing here in the Gulf of Mexico. You'll notice the bright orange colors here across southeast Texas into Louisiana, a very dry air mass sitting in overhead, and that's going to keep the uh, showers and thunderstorms at bay once again for today and heading into your Saturday. So a couple of dry days ahead as we head into the upcoming weekend. The other thing that is stopping developing, uh, development from really taking off here in the Gulf of Mexico, see these reds here? These are the upper level winds that are ripping across the Gulf right now, and that is high wind shear, and it's pushing all those thunderstorms away from that center of circulation. And in, again, until we can see those thunderstorms wrap all the way around the center, we're not gonna see the storm really develop much at all. So here's the latest information that we have from the Hurricane Center. As of eight o'clock, once this officially becomes a tropical depression or a tropical storm, we will start getting updates every three hours. But until then, this is what we have. Winds right around 35 miles an hour moving to the north at 14. The Hurricane Center taking this safely to the east of Texas. This is not going to be an issue for Texas whatsoever. We may see a, some higher tides later on today or tomorrow, but really just a lot of sunshine expected. And the reason why the flow around low pressure is counterclockwise, which means we are going to be seeing the, the drier continental air being filtered down into southeast Texas. And that's going to keep things nice and sunny, it looks like, for today and heading into your Saturday. With all of that heavy rain and the tropical storm force wind gust generally off to the east, so from New Orleans to uh, Biloxi, Pascagoula, and then Mobile, and maybe as far to the east as Pensacola. That's where the heaviest of the rain is expected to be. Boy, talk about consensus. We're talking about uh, all the computer models pretty much sitting on top of one another here, showing the center of circulation passing over southeast Louisiana. Somewhere between, say, St. Landry's Parish and Orleans Parish is where uh, the center of circulation is going to be. Remember, the worst of the weather is going to be to the east of that center, which means areas out across Mississippi, Alabama, and the Florida Panhandle will see the worst weather. The proof is in the pudding. Look at all of the showers and thunderstorms to the east of the center. As we put this into motion, look how all that rain is heading up towards Mississippi and Alabama and southeast Louisiana as we head into the wee hours in the morning here on Saturday. But look what happens here across the upper Texas coast. Again, that northerly flow coming in, bringing in that drier air, and that means it's going to be a very nice day today and heading into your Saturday. Now, things change a little bit. We'll get a little tongue of moisture to work its way into our area as we head into your Sunday afternoon, which of course is Father's Day, but I really don't think it's gonna be enough to really have to cancel any outdoor activity. So we'll continue to watch it. The rain, generally less than a half inch here across the upper Texas coast. All of that rain is expected to be from New Orleans all the way out towards Pensacola. So let's take a look here at some of the watches. Obviously a lot of flood watches from Atlanta to Montgomery, all the way down to Mobile, Panama City, Pensacola, New Orleans. And what you see here in this blue shading is that tropical storm warning. It's just some gusty winds. We're talking 35 to 40 mile an hour wind gust, not sustained uh, there along the immediate coast. So this is not a wind event. It's not a surge event, but it is certainly a rain event as some areas could pick up over a foot of rain across portions of Mississippi and Alabama. Uh, once again, the impacts along the upper Texas coast will be zero. In fact, we're looking at improving conditions today and heading into your Saturday. So certainly enjoy the sunshine while we have it and rain-free days. That's the very latest information we have on potential tropical cyclone number three. We'll have another update coming up today beginning on the noon show uh, here in a couple hours.